So if you haven't seen the movie Center Stage, please stop this video and go watch it because it's totally cute and I'm about to completely ruin the storyline. So don't watch this video if you haven't seen Center Stage because I'm completely going to ruin it for you. Um, when the other side asked me to go watch Center Stage, I thought they just wanted me to take a break. I had seen the movie before. They knew I liked it and I thought they were just saying go watch Center Stage because it's cute, right? And so I watched it and I didn't take notes while I watched it or anything. And I was like, yeah, that was fun and entertaining. Okay, ha ha ha. And they said, no, now we want you to make a video about it. And I was like, why? And they said, because we want you to use Jodie Sawyer's character as an example of how universal energies will rise up to support you in your life purpose. I was like, really? Okay. And it was one of those things where it's like, you know, when a door closes, God opens a window kind of thing when mortals give up on you god won't god will always be holding your hand and he will never give up on you he'll always be there to help you and they really like jody sawyer's character as an illustration of this and as you know there's nothing the other side loves more than you know using pop culture to illustrate their points so they love doing this kind of stuff so <laughs> they love movies uh so jo Jody Sawyer just got into the American Ballet Academy. She's one of their students there. And the student's dream is really to become, ultimately, to become a member of the American Ballet Company, right? Be an actual dancer for American Ballet Company. Now, Jody Sawyer is on path. This main character, this dancer, is doing what she's supposed to be doing. She's pursuing her heart her soul, her passion, her life purpose. This is really what she's supposed to be doing with her life. And she believes in herself, which is why she's pursuing dancing. Eating healthy, exercising, really de dedicated, you know, working on her, her dancing every day. And that's what we see in the movie. We see this dedication. So this is her heart-focused work. And she is aligned with truth and the light, and this is her life purpose. Now, what have I told you in past videos? When you're aligned with the truth and the light and your life purpose, you're holding the divine's hand right? So she is, okay? Jody Sawyer is holding the hand of the divine. So she starts taking these classes at American Ballet Academy, and the director of the academy, his name is Jonathan, her instructor is just not that impressed with her. He just doesn't see her potential. He thinks she has two bad feet, a bad turnout, in dancer terms, he's just not seeing her potential. He's like, eh, you know, how did she get into the school? I don't think she's that great, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just, he just doesn't see it. And so the other side is looking at this and they're like, oh, that's messed up. That's messed up because our girl's on path, man. Like, don't sabotage our girl. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. It's like, she might not be technically perfect, but come on, she's a good dancer. What are you, really? So the other side is looking at Jonathan, and they're like, yeah, that's just totally messed up. Now what do we do, right? So because Jody is on path and pursuing the dancing and she's being sabotaged by this Jonathan guy, the other side has to worry about Jody thinking that she sucks and just packing it in, right? Grabbing her dance shoes and just leaving. Just saying, all right, my, my ballet slippers and I are out of here. I suck, apparently. I tried, I went as far as I could, and then I failed and I just left. Well, the other side doesn't want her to do that because this is her truth. So they got to come up with something else. So they bring a, another instructor at the school named Cooper Nielsen onto her path. And Cooper Nielsen is no schlub. Okay, this guy's an amazing dancer. He's fantastic. He's, he's very well known. Like they make it very clear in the movie that he's made a name for himself. Like Cooper Nielsen, hey, you know, the girls have crushes on him. You know, he's, he's a pretty well known dancer in the academy. So they bring Cooper Nielsen onto her path and he actually does see her potential. He sees her as this flower that just needs to be watered so she can blossom. And he decides to take her under his wing and train her and help her get better. And he is, he's successful, okay? He is successful at doing this. So the other side is looking at this and they're like, yeah, Cooper, rock on. Cooper and Jody together. Yes, good, rock on, keep going. This is awesome. Well, what happens is, is there's a workshop that takes place where all these like talent agents and whatever show up to this workshop, this, you know, ballet performance. 
where it's like a make or break kind of moment for Jody and the other dancers in the school, right? Because her friends are, you know, hanging out as well. And so Jonathan has a ballet in this workshop and Cooper Nielsen has a ballet in this workshop. Well, Jonathan doesn't really want to cast, you know, Jody as like anything major in his ballet. And so Jody is hanging out with Cooper Nielsen who actually ends up casting her as a principal dancer, the principal dancer in his ballet. So Jody ultimately performs in this ballet performance at this workshop in front of these talent agents, and she gets all of this exposure because she's the principal dancer in this ballet. So she puts her heart and soul into it and gives an amazing performance. Very, very awesome, awesome performance. And you see how everyone is just really impressed with her. Not only that, but Cooper Nielsen is an amazing choreographer. So it's a fantastic ballet with cool music, cool dance performances. Yeah, so Jody does an amazing job. She really takes that ball and runs with it, right? So her blood, sweat, and tears is not for nothing, okay? So the other side is looking at this and they're like, yeah, that's what we wanted. That's what we want, all that exposure. Woo! So after that amazing performance, Jonathan's kind of sitting there like, mm, maybe I need to swallow my pride a little bit. Maybe I was wrong about this girl because she really impressed me tonight. Now that's kind of unspoken. It's something that they just have the audience kind of assume. They don't really have Jonathan go out and express that outwardly. Okay, it's kind of an assumed, inferred thing in the movie. So after her amazing performance, Jonathan meets with her. And before he's even able to say anything, she tells him, you know, please don't say anything. I've already made up my mind. I'm going to pursue something with Cooper Nielsen and not you. You know, thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity. And she's very, very classy and humble about it, right? It's, 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 it's a very classy way she does it. But she kind of like just says, you know, I'm not really sure what you're going to say. But just to let you know, um, if you were going to offer me a position, I've just, I've already decided to go, you know, be a part of Cooper Nielsen's deal, right? So that's where she leaves it with Jonathan. And the reason the other side is so excited about her decision was because she made a decision based in self-love. She sat there looking at Jonathan and she's just like, eh, he didn't really believe in me, you know? And Cooper Nielsen did when the chips were down. You know, Cooper Nielsen was there. Jonathan wasn't. So she makes this decision based in self-love. And she goes where the love is. She goes where the respect is. She goes where the appreciation is. And that's not with Jonathan. Rule number one in making free will decisions. Always go where the love is. So Jody Sawyer gets an applause for making that decision based in self-love. To go with Cooper. Okay? So the other side looks at Cooper and they're like, oh man, you know, Cooper still answers to Jonathan. He still answers to him as his boss. We, we got to empower Cooper, right? We got to, we got to have Cooper and Jody be able to do their own thing. So they bring a wealthy donor onto Cooper's path who has kind of like a crush on him, in him and believes in his ability. It's like a wealthy widow. And she donates a ton of money to Cooper so that he can start his own ballet company. And the other side says that's exactly how they work. So not only did they bring Cooper onto Jody's path, but they empowered Cooper and put him in a position of power himself because he's talented, it's his life purpose, it's his heart and soul as well, and now he's in a position to help Jody even more and help himself. Kind of like the success that he deserves himself, right? Because he, he works hard as well. So they wanted to let you guys know that See how the universal energies are supporting Jody? <laughs> this guy sees your potential. Now we're going to empower him with a bunch of money. Go over here. Go where the love is. Okay? Now, this is all speaking professionally. Okay? Everything that I've been saying thus far is, is in, in the professional realm. Okay? Cooper is not boyfriend material for Jody. Okay? So, on a personal note, the other side's like, eh, you know, Jody and Cooper really shouldn't be dating. Like, he's not good for her. So, at the end of the movie, Cooper tries to get Jody to go out with them, and she declines. She says, no. Yet another decision 
based in self-love. Bravo, Jody. She turns down Cooper's romantic advances and chooses to date this other guy, Charlie, instead. Now, the other side brought Charlie onto her path when they knew that Cooper wouldn't be a good romantic partner for her. And Charlie is very sweet, very nice, and treats her well. So you see how that works? Jody went where the love is. She's like, eh, Cooper is just not boyfriend material. He just doesn't treat me well, you know, in the romance department. I'm going to go over here to somebody that does. So decision based in self-love to work with Cooper, decision based in self-love to date Charlie. Charlie's a good guy. And the other side brought both of them onto her path to help her on a professional level with her life purpose and on a personal level with love. See how that works? And they're saying that's the other side working for you. When mortals try to interfere with your path or screw you over or try to prevent you from getting opportunities, the other side will rise up to support you in being successful. As long as you know, you're aligned with the truth and the light, you have pure intentions, God will be holding your hand. You know, they'll help you with love, career, opportunity, you know, money, you know, empowerment and support in, in pursuing that path. When mortals give up on you, God won't. Your angels won't. They will find another way. They will forge another path. That's why it's so important for you guys to keep the faith. Because when that door slams in your face and you're sitting there crying, you're like, I'm screwed. There's no hope for the future at all. Keep the faith and stay positive. Because if you're like Jody Sawyer and you're pursuing your life purpose and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, the other side sees that and they know that. Jody Sawyer's not sitting there like, I want money, I want fame. <laughs> She's got a love of dance. She loves doing it. She shines on stage. You see that come through when she's performing. She's sparkling like a diamond. It's beautiful. Don't ever dull your sparkle, man. Don't let this world try to beat you down. Freaking Jonathan, man? Didn't believe in her. No, dude. Go where the love is. Go where the love is. Decisions based in self-love. Good for you, Jody. You know, Jody Sawyer could have gone chasing after Jonathan for approval, like, please, you know, hands and knees, please accept me. Your opinion matters. It's all that matters. I'm at your mercy. She could have gone chasing after Cooper on a professional level when he blew her, uh, sorry, chasing after Cooper on a personal level when he blew her off personally towards the, you know, middle of the movie. She didn't. I mean, she tried to go out with him and then she was like, oh, this ain't working, man. Go where the love is and keep the faith. You know, as long as you are pursuing truth and your life purpose and your heart focused work and you, you know, have pure intentions, you know, you will still be holding the hand of God. And that makes you unstoppable. And in the meantime, Take care and be well. Thank you.